In 2016, Community Healing Gardens was given access to an acre of land at Edwin Markham Middle School located in Watts, California. Watts is known as the food desert of Los Angeles with little or no access to healthy food. For 99 cents, you can buy a Coke and a bag of chips. But if you want to buy a fruit, that costs you $1.25. We can't expect our kids to eat healthy when we're not providing the opportunities. And I think this is the answer for that. To create a safe healing space for community members, not only the school that it's attached to, but just the community in general. I'm seeing a garden that's going to help a future generation of people. This is solutions. This is all of that inclusive of that, and I'll tell you why. It's not just a garden, it's a mini farm. I mean, there's melons being grown over here that are larger than Ralph's. Uh, I see this as an essential component of how we're going to outreach to the whole community because food is one of the essential elements that connect all humanity. When Community Healing Gardens took over the space, there were weeds that were chest high. Uh, all the trees were practically dead. Uh, there wasn't really anything going on here. The goal is to build out a, a small production farm that is uh, student and community run. I don't know of many resources that have come on the community that are connected in, in, in within the confines of a small area called a school campus, and yet they're ready to bring jobs. When I've seen one of my students who've had behavior issues, to put them in front of a plant, put their hands in the dirt, it just, you see a whole nother person there. There has been reports out there that said we're one of the worst schools. I'm proud to tell you that last year uh, at scores, that puts us at number five. So we are moving up. If this garden could become the hub for what's possible, then schools across country could then become you know, revenue generators. They can have systems that are working, that are creating a stable opportunity for all the future generations that are coming through this space. They're talking to each other and, and they're sharing and, and they're really taking care of something. The garden just brings a whole other element to the child that motivates them to, to want to do these things, to, to work as a community and be part of a community and, and take ownership of their community and see it grow. It will need soil, water, shade, uh, people to come and take care of it. We feel that water is a fundamental human right, especially when you can make it using solar energy at almost no cost and give it away for free. So this is the Skywater machine. Just takes air and takes humidity in the air and condenses it to make pure distilled water. We need people to come and take care of our school water and continue to producing what we're doing. But for that, we need funding, we need people, and we need pride. And I feel that we can get this through this garden, just like we need it for our school. Community Healing Gardens is a nonprofit organization creating sustainable communities through urban gardens that provide healthy food for those in need, foster community through a local volunteer movement, create jobs for underserved communities, and educate everyone about the urgency of human and planetary health. Vote. 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 Vote Community Healing Gardens LA 2050. Yay! All things grow with love. <laughs>